everyone, I'm Heather and welcome back to my channel. We are back with Boyfriend Dungeon and in the last episode we went on a couple dates. Uh, the dungeon is now at La Rosa and the only date that we have left to do that we did not do is uh, Eric over here at Naked Steel. Um... I don't want to. I hate him. But I think we're going to have to. Because <laughs> uh, he's he's more of a storyline based character. So I imagine that this will move the storyline along. Uh, so we are also currently dressed in a Kigu with a Phoenix hat on. Because why not? All right, so let's let's do the inevitable and go on a date with Eric. You find Eric reading a book behind the counter. Huh. He brightens as you approach, carefully closing the book. It's so good to see you. Really? You look great. Fit. The dungeon must be giving you a good workout. Uh, you have information or things? Let's say we're going to keep it professional. You have information? Eric smiles, though his eyes seem cold and distant. Hmm. Strictly business, hmm? I was just getting to that. Well, I thought you might want to know what I discovered about the dungeons in my research. Hmm. Did you know they manifest your fears? The monsters actually come from inside you? Yes. Really? <laughs> or really lie? Like, I don't know. Huh. Let's lie. And see what he tells us. Mm-hmm. Yes, really. Amazing, right? The internet has a lot of misleading info, but some gold, too. Just don't read comments about yourself or reviews of your business. Hmm. <clears throat> I was thinking, since the dungeons are all about your fears, then... Couldn't we just, like, ignore them and they go away? Seems like it'd be safer, too. But, even if you want to fight monsters, the fact that it's your fears suggests you have control. Hmm. I think we could even speedrun dungeons if we wanted. Skip straight to the bottom, fight the boss monster immediately. I figured out how. But... Eric pauses and looks you in the eye with a mischievous grin. Ugh. Gross. I said this would be a trade. How about... I tell you about my speedrun strat for the low, low price of one kiss on the cheek. Seriously? Sure. I don't need this. I don't need this. Hmm. Oh, fine. What about a smile? Just one nice, pretty smile. No thanks. Eric goes silent, the warmth leaving his face. Ugh. Some people are just so selfish. They get good looks, attention, offers of knowledge... And they can't even share the tiniest part of their happiness. A shape slips silently into view, graceful as water. <laughs> Enemy? The stranger stares at you with the intensity bordering on excitement. Eric hesitates before waving his hand with a huffy sigh. No. No, not an enemy. Return to your sheath. The stranger slips away with a rustle of silk. Since you apparently know everything, you won't need to ask any questions about him. Good day. Eric pointedly reopens his book and ignores you until you leave. All right. I think we don't have anything else going on except for... The Dunch. Uh, which is at 
La Rosa. Okay. I still feel like there should have been something like right down here. Like, why is it there if there's nothing there? Let me just double check around. Make sure there's nothing. And go here. So Valeria's on four, Rowan's on four. Ooh, I guess we could do pocket. Sawyer, Isaac is maxed at three. So there's nothing else to do with him? Or I guess we haven't gotten the date thing from him yet, I guess. Oh, that's interesting. So there's, there's no thing. Let me check my phone. Okay, yeah, so we haven't gotten anything from Isaac. Oh no, we do. There's a date here. Let's go there. Well, hello. You seem to be getting the hang of parrying, so today we'll try the repost. That's probably not how you say it. After a parry, a repost lets you thrust in return. He glances at the door, then back to you. Mm. Here, it's easier if I show you. Go ahead and attack me. Uh, I don't suppose it matters. Let's attack right. Isaac deflects easily, and suddenly his foil pokes into your shoulder. Since you held off, I need to extend further to repost. See? A repost returns the attacker's energy back upon them. Mm. Isaac glances at the clock. Here, I'll attack. Parry, and then step forward and attack immediately. Are you okay, or do you want to take a break? How about, do you want to take a break? Uh, no, yes, yes, I think so. I don't know. You're very perceptive. I'm sorry. I'm distracted, indeed. He takes off his gear and pours refreshments. Uh, my father has finished a hostile takeover of my firm. He bought a majority and discredited me with the board. So, my time is just about over at Brooks Associates. I only have today and tomorrow. I try not to care what he thinks. He's a foolish, close-minded old man. <clears throat> I've officially disowned him and cut off contact. But now, I'm going to lose everything I built here because of him. How can I not care? That sounds frustrating. Be proud of what you did. You still have fencing. I'm sorry, your dad is garbage. Um, I guess be proud of what you did? It's, it's probably one of those top two. Right. Um, I know. I am proud. I promise. I tell myself that all the time. But I'm really glad that I talked to you. I'm sorry to burden you. Love rank four. Let's see. Uh, reduced charge time for heavy attacks. Wider finisher damage area. Probably that first one. I guess this is our last time fencing in this office. Tomorrow's my last day. I sold my stock. I'll be comfortable while I sort out what to do next. It'll be a bit like starting over. I'll, I've lost so much. <laughs> I keep trying to focus on fencing, but it's not working. Maybe I should give up for the day. <laughs> or I could make a house call for a uniquely talented fe fencing student like you. Why not tonight sounds sexy or not interested? How about why not tonight? We're, o we're open. Well, it's tempting to want to get closer to you any way I can. Mm -mm. But your temptation might be too strong for me right now. I know I'm not in a great place emotionally right now, and I dream about you. Uh. I need to know we're committed to each other before we can be intimate. I'm not committed to you, Isaac. Sorry. Otherwise, I'll just regret it afterwards, and I don't want to regret anything with you. Understood. But don't worry. I promise I'm not trying to rush you. I'm just being clear about my requirements. Take your time and think about it. Isaac is probably 
the most boring storyline wise so I'm not like super into it really he leans in and gives you a long kiss I suppose this is good night for now thank you for your companionship you head home I've been dreaming about you. What kind? <laughs> Zombie dreams? <laughs> what kind? You were healing broken weapons of all kinds. Me too. It was lovely. You're a comfort to me even when I'm asleep. Thank you. This sounds very friendship -y to me. Which I guess is good because I'm not really that interested. And Isaac. Okay. So, let's go to the dunge again. So, Isaac is four, Sunder is four, Seven is four, Valeria is four, Rowan. So, we could do Pocket and we can do Sawyer. Those are one. I'm not interested in Sawyer, but I guess we should at least use them. But, I want to go with Pocket. We're going to play with the cat. Let's go to seven. Now, it is like brass knuckles sort of thing, so it may not be the easiest. As I am not terribly good at this. So this dungeon fear is unidentified. Or who knows, maybe it'll be easier. Get right in there. I mean, I'm fairly certain that I'm not better at this than I was, so I'm not sure. Okay, there's some, I know, I see you, cat, but let's go over here and get this stuff first. A love letter recipe. I don't know. I mean, I'm fairly certain, except for the cat, most of them would be interested. Uh, let's hang out at the bar with the cat. You find a pre-made cocktail on the bar next to a bottle of Beau de Chat. Smells grassy. Pocket sniffs eagerly at the cocktail and begins lapping it up. Is it catnip liquor or be careful? Is it catnip liquor? Yes, it is. Look at that. It's so cute. His tail curls in pleasure and his purring is strong. It seems so. Perhaps with bird bitters. Wow. He seems extra energetic. Would you like to offer a gift? Yes. What can I offer? I don't really have anything. You give a succulent, but what is... Oh, that was a good one. So he can chew on the plant. Pocket's eyes light up as he gnaws on a stubby succulent leaf. Pocket leaps back into the dungeon. You have to pounce to catch him in time. Oh, I'm happy with the cat. The Queen Perfume. And a boba. We'll leave that boba so we can come back if we need to. Because we have to go down this way where there are martini glasses to kill us. These things suck. Like, everything else is pretty easy but those laser things. Okay, well, we definitely need that boba now. So let's go back. Alright, grab the boba. And I should probably use it. 
Okay, let's go back down, make sure we got all the stuff. Ooh. Is this a place we can sit? No. Get that boba. Oh, I didn't realize that that was something to attack. Okay. Yeah, I didn't realize I had to attack that thing too. Wanderer recipe. Oh, okay, there's the stairs. Okay, let's change weapon. And let's go with Sawyer, because uh, Sawyer's the only one that is level one now. I would like to play with the cat, but it's not gonna do anything for us to continue on that level until we go on another cat date. Who's gonna end up being the owner of the cat? I hate you. Stop. I have no more popa. I cannot die anymore. So. Well, that's not really going to help me. There's nothing down there to potentially, like, help. But look, that room is slammed full of stuff. Okay, we're about to die. <laughs> oh! I for oh, I forgot the phoenix thing, like, saved me once. Oh, now I don't look cute in my phoenix hat anymore. Okay, let's see. I wonder what the levels do for me. Because it doesn't really feel like I'm at level 24. It doesn't feel like I have 24 levels of hit points. You stumble out of the dungeon, tired and sweaty, breathing hard. Your weapon transforms. <laughs> we did so much better than I thought. We're the best team. <laughs> Gross, Eric. A whispering hiss stirs the underbrush as the shadows shift, slithering. <sniffs> He's advancing towards you slowly. Hello again, stay back, or are you a friend? How about stay back? <laughs> the stranger smiles widely and takes another small step closer. Your skin crawls. He raises his blade arm and swings it in an arc, narrow, narrowly missing you. Ah, this is freaky, right? I don't want to be here. This is a bad scene. Run, run, run. Bye. What a little jerk. You split up and run into the night. It doesn't seem like he's following you, but you still lock your door behind you quickly when you arrive home. Okay, it seems like we are progressing in the storyline. Okay. 
from mom. Can you believe you've already been in Verona Beach for most of the summer? I can. It feels like it's been forever. I miss you. How's it going? What'd you do today, sweetie? Just working the dunge, just kissing some swords. I don't think mom needs to know all that. Just working the dunge. So hardworking. Don't forget to have some fun. You're only young once. Okay. Eric. Did you do something I should know about? Like what? Or I was attacked. Like what? I don't know. Never mind. I know what happened. Uh, sorry. Get creepy, Eric. Okay, letting pocket out again. We live near the Paradise Lost Cafe, so probably look around there if you want to find him. Summer's almost over. Can't believe it went so quickly. Wait, what? No way. No way. Yeah, way. You're only here for the summer. That apartment lease is almost up. You have to find a you have to, a flight home soon, remember now? Do I have to go or it was a good summer? It was a good summer. Awesome, that was the whole point, right? Anyway, I have some news. You're probably busy, but Eric's been acting weirder than usual. And there are weird lights and sounds inside. I think maybe he's up to something. Definitely? Or <laughs> I don't want to know. I mean, we know he's definitely up to something. I'm thinking we go over there and just gather intel. You up for it? Okay, let's do it. Yeah. Adventure! Great, meet me outside the weapon shop after it gets dark. Okay, let's check with this one. You make it home okay? Yeah. Phew, good, me too. I don't know how I'm going to sleep tonight. Starting to think that Eric guy isn't very nice. Oh, uh, really? You think? But, like, it seems like there's conversations or something that go on outside of what we see in the game. Because, like, how would he, Sawyer know that Eric had anything to do with that thing there? Because we only just saw it. So, how would Sawyer know? I don't know. It's like we had a conversation that was outside of the game. It's kind of like how everyone knows my number, and everyone knows my name, and who I am, and all that. And, like, dude, we've never met. Okay, so I could do love letter recipe. And a wanderer recipe. I don't know what that is, but we'll try it. So it's an outfit. Knight armor. When did we get all that steel? We didn't have steel before. McQueen perfume. Okay. And we still haven't done any of those. We need glue. For, well, I want to see what dark prince recipe is. Let's go out and get some glue. I think we can get some glue right here. Yeah. That's a lot for some glue, man. Because I needed a couple, didn't I? I think it was two. We really haven't done anything with our money. Um, ooh, Paradise Lost, so we can go hang out with Pockets. I wonder if we should do that before. Oh, no, I needed three. Okay, let's go get another one. I really want to see what that is. My vampire clothes or something. Okay, three glues. I haven't really seen glue in the dunge. 
Or if it has been, like, not frequently. Okay, let's do the Dark Prince outfit. Okay, let's go try it on. Oh, do I still have the Phoenix thing on me? It's showing me there. Ooh, I look snazzy. Let's do that. We'll try on the this just for a whole look. But I want the phoenix thing. What other thing did I have that it was acting like was new? So here's my dark prince outfit. We'll do that. All right. I feel like we need to wait on that one. I'm trying to get it to save. Okay. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this part here. And then in the next one, we'll go on the date with pockets and with... Um, Jesse to see what Eric's up to because I think that one's pushing the story forward. So we want to check on pockets first and um, we'll do that in the next episode. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.